Today we're breaking down Taskgate's data hierarchy, in other words, how and where to store your work so you always know where it lives and how it connects. This is the kind of tutorial you watch once, digest, and then apply every time you use Taskgate. It's useful for everyone, from those running big teams to anyone using Taskgate for personal organization. I'll keep things simple and visual. If you ever forget how the hierarchy works, just remember this. Taskgate is a building and each level of the hierarchy is part of that building. I promise it'll all make sense by the end of the tutorial. I think we can all agree that if your workspace has no structure, things fall apart fast. You lose track of tasks, ideas get buried, and you waste time figuring out where things are. But imagine walking into a building where every room is labelled and everything's in its place. That's the kind of clarity Taskgate's hierarchy gives you. It tells you exactly where your work lives and what to do next. Once your workspace is organized, you stay focused, your priorities stay clear, and your team moves faster together. Taskgate's hierarchy can be broken down into five levels. Workspace, teams, or formerly known as folders, projects, blocks, and tasks. Think of the workspace as the container where you store related teams. It's the top level of Taskgate and your main hub for organizing everything that lives in it, like teams, projects, agents, automations, and assets. A company might create separate workspaces for each global office like Europe office or Asia office, while personal users might have a workspace for studies, another one for freelance work, and maybe a third for planning a side business. In short, the workspace is the entire building. Everything else, teams, projects, blocks, and tasks lives inside this structure. Let's move on to teams, formerly known as folders, Teams help you organize related projects inside a workspace. They work like categories, grouping projects by theme, client, or workflow to keep everything organized and easy to navigate. Each team contains a specific part of your work, so things don't get mixed up. With Taskgate's latest update, teams now hold more than just projects. Inside each team, you can also store AI agents, AI teams, automations, media, and AI kits. It's a cleaner way to manage everything related to a specific area of work in one place. So for example, in a company you might have departments or teams like marketing, product development, and customer success inside the Asia office workspace. The marketing and customer success department can each have their own projects with their own workflows, agents, automations, and assets without overlapping because they exist in separate teams. For a personal user, you could create teams, formerly known as folders, like physics, chemistry, and philosophy to keep different subjects separated within your studies workspace. I want you to think of teams as flaws in your building. Each one is dedicated to a different area of work. If you go to the right floor, everything you need is there. Let's move on to projects. Projects are where the actual work gets done. Inside each team, you create projects. Projects are where you can manage your tasks, take notes, track progress, plan schedules, and collaborate with others. Each project is also a collaboration hub where you can work and chat with your team. Normally, a project is focused on one goal or topic. For a company inside the marketing team, you might have projects like Q3 campaign plan, social media plan, and email launch prep. For a personal user inside the philosophy team, you could have projects like essay drafts, reading lists, or exam revision. Think of a project as a room on that floor, a dedicated space where specific work happens. Every room serves a different purpose and everything inside it stays focused on that one objective. Inside every project, you'll find blocks. These are groups of related tasks and subtasks organized under a heading. Blocks help you bundle similar work together into clear, structured sections. Think of them like labeled zones in your project. Each block usually starts with a H1 or H2 heading and can include tasks, subtasks, and other node types. For a company, you might create blocks for the different milestones you want to achieve in your project, like Milestone 1 for strategy development, Milestone 2 for content production, and so on. Each block groups tasks related to that specific milestone. For a personal user, you could create a block like Week 1 Revision Plan to organize your study tasks by subject topic or priority. Think of a block as a section in the room, like a whiteboard for one topic. Tasks are the actionable items inside a block that drives your project forward. It is a unit of work or an item on a to-do list that you plan to accomplish, like a goal or assignment. Each task isn't just a checkbox. When you click the add-on button next to a task, you'll see a variety of options to add more details. 
like due dates, assignees, comments, attachments, priorities, and other useful information to support your work. You can also nest an unlimited number of subtasks under any task to break bigger goals into smaller steps. This helps you stay organized, especially when working with multi-part deliverables. For a company who has a task like define content themes, you might add subtasks like identify key topics and assess resource availability. For a personal user who has a task like write essay outline, subtasks could include research sources, draft structure, and review with tutor. Think of tasks and subtasks as sticky notes on your whiteboard. Clear, trackable, and easy to understand. To recap, your workspace is the building. Teams are the floors, projects are the rooms on those floors, blocks are the whiteboards in each room, tasks and subtasks are the sticky notes on the whiteboards. Once you get this, everything in Taskgate just clicks. You know where everything lives, how it connects, and where to go next. If you found this video helpful, hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more Taskgate tips. I'll see you in Taskgate. Bye-bye.